On this rainy day in the rainforest, I'm here to introduce you to the Suriname cherry, also known as the Patanga, with the genus species of Eugenia uniflora. Kind of sweet, really sour, and has the flavor of a bell pepper. Not terribly cherry-like. Now, I know I say everything here is delicious, <laughs> so it may surprise you to find out this is one I don't much care for. It's a bit of a polarizing fruit in that it has a back-end resinous flavor not everyone cares for. As I said, it's a Eugenia, so it's in the Myrtaceae family, somewhat closely related to things like Jabotacaba and Guava, with closer relatives being the Grumichama and the Batanga tuba. It is a small evergreen tree or shrub that is native to South America. It is commonly found in the tropical regions of Brazil, Guyana, and Suriname, and is known for its bright red juicy berries that are high in vitamin C. However, there are black and orange varieties that are slightly more desirable as they have less of the resinous flavor. The Suriname cherry tree can grow up to 20 feet tall, but is often kept pruned to a smaller size for easier harvesting. Its leaves are dark green and glossy with its flowers small and white. The berries are typically ready to harvest between June and August. However, in the right environment, you may see berries almost year round. They are often used to make jams, jellies, and other preserves, but is also used for its medicinal properties. The fruit is rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, which make it useful for treating a variety of conditions such as asthma, fever, and digestive problems. And the bark is used as a natural remedy for toothaches. The Suriname cherry is also known for its high vitamin C content. One cup of the fruit contains about 91 milligrams of vitamin C, which is about half of the daily required intake for adults. The high vitamin C content makes it a great food for preventing and treating scurvy. The Suriname cherry is a fast-growing tree that is easy to care for. It prefers well-drained soil and can tolerate a wide range of temperatures and humidity levels. The tree is drought tolerant and can be grown in full sun or partial shade. The Suriname cherry is a versatile and useful plant that is known for its delicious fruit, medicinal properties, and high vitamin C content. It is a great addition to any tropical garden and is also well suited for small-scale commercial cultivation. Now, I usually end these videos by taking a bite of the fruit and telling you what notes I pick up, but I don't really care for this one. So I'm gonna bring in my stunt taste bud double, my beautiful wife, Virginia. Hi. I have a handful of Suriname cherries here, and these might look the same color, but I can tell a slight difference in them. Looking at the color, none of them are going to be 100% the sweetest. They're still a little too on the orange side for that. Get a really deep scarlet red when they're at their sweetest. So I can tell this one is going to be the most sour, and this one is going to be the sweetest. Oh, it's raining in the rainforest. So I'm gonna start with the most sour. Mm, mm. Here's the seed, how big it is. Delicious. Less sour than I thought it was going to be. About as sour as a dill pickle with a hint of cherry, but mainly that fire roasted bell pepper flavor that Peter was describing. I'm going to go for what I think is going to be the sweetest one. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Again, Delicious, only slightly sweeter than the last one. Bigger seed, because it was a bigger berry. That particular one is just the bell pepper flavor. Not really picking up any cherry flavor in that one. It just goes to show that every fruit is different. It's going to taste a little different. For me, they're all great.